What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Felipe, again. And I'm getting a ton of DMs about the worst deal that I've ever done. So you know what? I said, oh, let's make a YouTube video about it. And this is how it goes. First of all, as always, before we get started, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button, leave me a comment if you like these videos, and subscribe to the channel if you want more, right? The like button really, really helps me and it keeps me motivated to keep making more videos, answering your questions, and basically showing you guys the mistakes that I've made so that you don't have to make those same mistakes. This is how it starts. The worst deal I ever had, actually, funny enough, was the property that made me the most amount of cash flow. Yep, I bought a six unit apartment complex in Cookville, Tennessee, where it's a college town. The money was great, don't get me wrong. The cash flow was great, the financing I got was fantastic on it. It was a great deal. I was able to fix it up for low money. I was able to rent it out. It was a great property, but I made every mistake in the book. I didn't find a good property management company. I let people come in, pay me cash. That's the worst thing you can do. Let's chop that up. A great property management company is going to give me back my time, right? I also allow tenants to move in who are paying cash, which is the worst kind of tenants because they don't have a bank account. They don't know how to do direct deposits and things like that. And they're always going to be late on rent. They're always going to have a soft story. So I hated it. Here's the thing about my worst deal ever. And what I failed to write in the description was that it taught me my best lesson ever. And my best lesson ever was very, very simple. It was that my time is worth way more than money. Let me explain. If I have my time back and I'm making a little bit less than that property is giving me, then it's completely worth it. Here, Herein lies the problem. I bought this property. It was taking up so much of my time. Yes, it was my highest cash producing, but it was a job. I had to be there two or three times a month no property management company wanted to manage it because it was known for a hard property to manage and I didn't have good tenants in place. So it taught me what my goals really were. And no, my goals were not money. My goals were time. Are your goals time or are they money? That's really important to think about. Is your goal money or is it time? Now, a lot of you are saying, well, Felipe, it's both. But is it really because money usually comes with the absence of time. It takes time away from you. So you need to create a business or a job or, 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 or some type of investment that's less time, more money. And that is what that deal taught me. It taught me that I didn't want to be driving to the property two or three times a month because I wanted to be able to spend that money that it was giving me how I want it, right or wrong. That worst deal ever made me establish my goal. It made me look myself in the mirror and say, Felipe, what do you really want? And I realized that it was my time back. Not necessarily a gabajillion dollars. Is that a word, gabajillion? A billion dollars in the bank. I wanted my time back. Now, I needed money. Don't get me wrong. You know, it's interesting. A lot of people say money isn't the most important thing in the world. It's not. But it does affect the most important things in the world, which are my family. So I wanted my time for my family, but I also wanted money because I had to feed them, right? Like I had to like feed them and you can't feed them love. You got to feed them money. So I learned that I wanted to make time from my resources. And that's what I started doing. I sold the property. I brought all that money back to Nashville. I bought one house cash, and then I used a HELOC on that property to fund the rest of my deals. My worst deal ended up teaching me the best lesson. What is my goal? Identifying my goal. That's what I would challenge you guys to do. What is your goal? Put it in the comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a like if you like this video. Let me know what else I can do for you. Thanks, guys.